Hello Diaries, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If today is the first time stopping by, you're so welcome. My name is Selassie, I'm a registered public health nurse here in Ghana. In today's video, I want us to take a look at the University of Health and Allied Sciences new entry requirements because I've noticed that they've made changes to their entry requirements for the 2023-2024 academic year. And I think students or interested applicants should be aware of these changes before they apply for any of the programs that the University of Health and Allied Sciences offers. So if you're interested, let's dive right in. But before we move on, just know that application for admission is open for the 2023-2024 academic year. And the, you, you can purchase your e-voucher at 220 cities at any GCB, ADB, Zenith Bank, or Apex, ARB Apex Bank branches, or at any Ghana post office near you. For foreign applicants or international applicants, you can purchase your e-voucher at any Echo Bank branch outside Ghana in foreign currency at the equivalent of 130 US dollars, which is non-refundable. And these are the bank details for you to purchase your e-voucher. So those Nigerians and all others who are interested in schooling in Ghana, the forms are on sale and this is how you do it. And students who are here to write their WASI exams for 2023, you are also eligible to apply. You can buy the form and fill the awaiting form. And when your results are released, you can input your grades and see if you get admitted. That being said, let's go and look at the new entry requirements that you have set for its applicants. So for the general entry requirements, that's for WASI and SSE holders. Do we still have SSE holders in the country? <laughs> I don't know. But you have to have credit passes. That's A to C6 for WASI and A to D for SSE. In English, Core Mathematics, Integrated Science and Social Studies. Input all the four core subjects when applying. In addition to three elective subjects applicable to the program of choice. And we'll look at the program of choice down there so applicants should know that they are expected to have at least c6 or d in social studies even though it is not included in the calculation of aggregates and yes <laughs> so if you failed your social studies you are in trouble with you has because even though it will not be included in calculating your overall aggregate they are still expecting you to have at least C6 in social studies. And ooh, it's going to get some people. And other credentials, which are from outside the country, you have to go to just visit the website and see for yourself. Now, let's come to the various programs. For the School of Allied Health Sciences regular programs, they offer dietetics, diagnostic imaging, medical laboratory science, physiotherapy, orthotics and prosthetics, speech language and hearing sciences like bachelor in these programs. And for this five, for these six programs, you need all the core subjects, the four core subjects above English, math, science and social studies and any three of the following chemistry, biology, physics, and elective maths. So the programs above are mostly for general science students. So if you are not a general science student, you may not be fully eligible for these programs. Let's look at the other requirements. Applicants with food and nutrition, management in living, and general knowledge in arts can apply for Bachelor of Dietetics because it's a home economics program. and Dietetics is food related, so yeah, they are giving that opportunity to you to offer dietetics. Non-science students who wish to apply for speech, language, and theory sciences must possess a grade of at least B2 in integrated science. So the only program where they will consider 
non-science students, that is a general arts students, visual arts and co. It's a Bachelor of Speech, Language and Hearing Sciences. And even with that, then you have to have at least B2 in your integrated science before they can give you that opportunity. So that is that for the School of Allied Health Sciences. And note that all shortlisted applicants may be required to pass a selection interview of writing. Moving on to the School of Basic School of Basic and Biomedical Sciences. And that school and they offer Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, and Molecular Biology. It's a pure science program, so all the four subjects are above English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, in addition to Chemistry, Biology, Physics, or Elective Math. So you need Biology, Chemistry. These two you cannot interchange. And Physics or Elective Math. Most times you can, if you don't have Physics, you can use Elective Math to replace. And if you don't have Elective Math, you can use Physics to replace because it's all, they are both mathematically inclined, if that is a good sentence to make. But yeah, that is it. But you need your chemistry and your biology. And if you are a general agri student, then you can use general agriculture or animal husbandry, uh, horticulture, chemistry, physics, or elective math. So in this case, they are, you can replace biology with general agri, animal husbandry, or horticulture. And then you have to have physics or elective math. That is how I'm interpreting it, okay? All right. And the School of Medicine, that one is a pure science program. If you want to be a medical doctor, surgical doctor, a dental doctor, or physician assistantship, or do physician assistantship, then you need chemistry, biology, and physics or elective math. And note that you will be required to pass entrance examination and a selection interview. And that is that. Now let's come to the school of nursing, my favorite. <laughs> so for the entry requirements for nursing, midwifery, or public health nursing, you need all the four core subjects listed above, plus 83 of the following. 83 of the following. Chemistry, physics, biology, elective math, economics, geography, government, history, Christian Religious Studies or Islamic Religious Studies, Literature in English, French, <laughs> Ghanaian Language, General Agriculture, Food and Nutrition, General Knowledge in Arts, and Management in Living. So only 17 subjects are accepted from SHS. So here, look at the combination. If you are a science student, if you are a general science student, then Chemistry, Physics, Biology, Elective Math, you can get your three from there. If you're a general arts student, then you have a lot of options. Economics, Geography, Government, History, Christian Religious Studies or Islamic Religious Studies, Literature in English, French, any of the Ghanaian languages, you are eligible. When it comes to um, General and Greek, this is where you might find some problem because we have only general agriculture accepted for nursing. So if you are an agri student, then you may have to add either chemistry or biology or physics or elective math, any of those to the general agri. So if you've not done all the other subjects, if you did uh, subjects like horticulture, animal husbandry, general agri, you, you are not eligible you are not eligible to apply for the direct degree program at UHAS. And if you are a home economics student, then you might be lucky if you have biology, food and nutrition, general knowledge in arts, and management in living. If you have any of these four, any three, if you can get any three of this, you are good to go. I think sometimes you do chemistry too. And as for visual arts, you see where you are limited because if you have, you you can use general knowledge in arts, chemistry, but if you can't get a third subject, then you are not eligible to apply. And as for business students, they are they are out of the chat. Like <laughs> okay, there may be selection interview for all shortlisted applicants. So that's that for 
the school of nursing and midwifery. And we come to the school of pharmacy, which offers doctor of pharmacy, which is also a pure science subject. And so if you are not having chemistry, biology, physics, or elective maths, you cannot apply. Then let's come to the school of public health. The school of public health offers disease control, health information, health promotion, and nutrition. So the last time someone was asking the difference between dietetics and nutrition. Dietetics is more focused on sickness and the nutritional management of sickness. So let's say someone who is hypertensive or someone who is diabetic, we have to manage that person's meal well and see, make sure that what he or she is eating is not worsening their case. Like nutritional management is very, very key. And when we take cases like kidney disease, kidney diseases, liver failure, and co, you need to pay particular attention to your nutrition or the, the food you are eating. So dietitians actually focus on nutrition during sickness or during severe illnesses to make sure that whatever you are eating does not affect or deteriorate your condition. But when we come to nutrition, especially public health nutrition or community health nutrition, the best way I can describe it is preventive. It's just like the nurse assist, uh, the general nurse and the public health nurse. Okay, the general nurse is there for creative care. The person is sick, let's nurse the person back to health. So dietetics is like curative care, whilst nutrition or public health nutrition is like preventive care. We are helping you to eat right, choose your meals well, don't become overweight and obese because it comes with all health, other health conditions and all. So yeah, that is that. So public health nutrition is preventive care, dietetics is creative care. I hope that clarifies it a little. So yeah, the School of Public Health offers these four programs, disease control, health information, health promotion, and nutrition. For pure science students, you have to get your four core subjects listed above, English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. In addition to chemistry, biology, physics, and elective maths, and you are qualified to do all of the programs. So pure science students are qualified to do any for any of the four programs about no restrictions for you. For disease, for disease control, you need economics, geography, general agriculture, crop and soil science, animal husbandry, and horticulture. So in a way, <laughs> So in a way, you has is not really accepting general arts students because for general arts, you have economics, you have your geography, you may do languages, any of the languages, Christian or Islamic religious studies, government and all. But I can only see two of two out of the lots that general arts students offer here. So if by any means you are a general art student and you offered a Greek, general art Greek, animal husbandry or horticulture, that's the only way you can apply for this control at UHAS. And I don't know why. I don't know why it is like that. I think they have to look at it again. Because when you look at all the elective subjects here, it's looking like this control can only be offered by pure science students and agriculture and general agric students. Aside that, this control is off the table for home economics, general arts, and all. I don't know why. Moving on to nutrition. Nutrition, general agriculture, crop and soil science, animal husbandry, horticulture, management in living, food and nutrition. So this one, if a home economy student that has food and nutrition management in living and either biology or chemistry, you are eligible to apply for the uh, public health nutrition program. Aside that, then it's pure science and general agric students. General art students cannot do nutrition at UHAS. And I'm raising like, why? <laughs> why UHAS, why? Then, 
we come to health information. For health information, you need elective maths, elective ICT, economics, geography, general Greek, crop and soil health, uh, science, animal husbandry, and horticulture. Wow. And then health promotion, government, literature, in English, economics, history, French, geography, agri uh, general agri animal husbandry, horticulture, management in living, general knowledge in arts, food and nutrition. So you have to say if you are a general arts student, disease control, nutrition, and maybe health information, depending on the elective subjects you have, you may not be able to apply for these programs and well that is that <laughs> okay then for the school of sports and exercise medicine where they offer bachelor of sports and exercise medical sciences you need all the four subjects above four subjects above english math science and social studies and also three and also any three out of chemistry, biology, physics, and elective mathematics. <sighs> so it's also for a pure the pure science student. If the other courses are not accepted here either. I ask them all. Since we are here, let's just take a look at the cutoff grades again, because that's what they are referencing to. For the school of medicine, you need aggregate eight for medicine and surgery dental surgery to eight and for physician assistantship aggregate nine for the school of pharmacy you need aggregate eight for doctor of pharmacy for the school of nursing and midwifery um i think the nine for bachelor of nursing is for the pure science students and 10 is for the other uh, courses and the 10 is for the other courses for nursing and midwifery and public health nurse 10 for the general science students and 12 for the other students or other courses if it's different and you know the clarification for this please let me know in the comment section for the school of allied health sciences medical laboratories 12 dietetics 14 diagnostic imaging that's for radiography 14 physiotherapy 16 speech language and hearing sciences 16 orthotics and prosthetics 17 for the school of basic biomedical sciences you need 18 and for the school of public health you need 17 for disease control 19 for health information 19 for health promotion 17 for nutrition and lastly for bachelor of sports and medical sciences you need aggregate 21. Individual subject grades must be A1 to C6 or A to D. So A1 to C6 for WASC, A to D for SST. So just that this is a required sub core subject but it's not included in the calculation of aggregates. Pure science students can be admitted into any program. So if you are a pure science student, you has is a place for you to be that is for your information so if you are planning to have your education at you has that is the new update in town take notes and guide yourself accordingly i hope this video was helpful like it share and subscribe if you've not done that yet and watch this video next and i'll see you there bye